Fathers Are People is a really sweet 1951 Disney short feature in Goofy. And what I think Disney did really well, they've done a few shorts where usually Goofy is the father and they show parenthood from the father's perspective. And that's quite rare. It's quite rare for an animation to view parenthood through the paternal side rather than it being the mother and motherly and mothering the child. This one's strictly from the father's perspective and that's something that I think works really well, particularly with Goofy. This is also apparently the first cartoon where we see Goofy Jr. Goofy Jr. does appear in several cartoons after this. It's not Max. It's not, strictly speaking, Max Goof. But you can kind of assume that it's a early, early, early version, early version of Max. This is directed by Jack Kinney. And as the narrative unfolds, we learn more and more about what it is like for Goofy. Under the guise of George Geef, I never understand why they created this alter ego for Goofy as George Geef. But it's all about his life as a father and the highs and lows that he has, the pitfalls, the problems. Um, for example, he has to try and persuade his child to pick up his toys. So he tries reverse psychology. In the end, he is on the floor picking up the toys. And it's just all about being a father. And I think it's something that, well, really any parent will be able to relate to. But it's designed to speak to fathers. Which again, as I said, is not that common. Even nowadays, most things about babies or young children are aimed at mothers. Which is... I mean, it makes sense in a small degree because, you know, the mother carries the child, but, you know, fathers play an important role as well. And I'm glad that Goofy was able to represent that side of parenthood. Bobby Driscoll, Voices Junior, which is um, pretty awesome. And it's a very nice, sweet short. It's not my favourite Goofy short. But there are some pretty incredible ones, so that's not saying much. I think it's very well animated. Even the decor in the house is beautiful. The pink striped walls and, you know, we see all kinds of rooms in the house, places outside. We really do get a vast look at Father Goofy's life. And not Father Goofy in a religious sense, but Goofy as the father. And what life is like for him when he is basically permanently exhausted. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um... I do like to think of Goofy Jr. as being a young interpretation of Max Goof. Fathers Are People is a brilliant title as well. I like the title, I like the short, I have no complaints.